If you apply it to self, then you come from a place of sensitivity. Choice is being able to say no. Um, and yeah, sometimes you just want to have just a partner for the night or you want to have that partner for the rest of your life. And to be able to say, this is not what I want. To be comfortable enough and confident enough to say, I deserve to be paid this much. This is how much I want and I'm not negotiating with it. Um, to be comfortable to say to the world, actually, really, I don't want to be a mother. And that's really okay with me. It doesn't mean I don't love. I am a mother in several other ways. Actually, yes, I'm changing my mind today. I do want to be a mother now, so guess what? I'm going to go and adopt. That's choice. Or I'm going to go to a sperm bank and pick up a sperm. That's choice. When I think of scale in the space of SGBV, I think self-defense. I really do. I think... Um, we should have self-defense, free self-defense classes for women, especially in countries like Nigeria, South Africa, et cetera, et cetera. Um, even if it's just for these 16 days of activism where gyms within this city, this country should say, you know what, for 16 days we are offering these self-defense classes for free. Because a woman is expected to be a damsel in distress. She's not expected to fight back. So if a man confronts me, there's an issue for me to slap him when he's the one that's hit me. All of a sudden, I'm seen as the violent one, right? But hang on a minute. Um, the suffragettes actually had to turn to violence to actually get attention. And I didn't come to you first. So if you come to me, I have every right to hit you back. Now, if I'm going to hit you back, I want to be able to defend myself or run, whichever one it is. Do you understand? So I refuse to be a damsel in distress and it's something I don't do. If I need to confront you as a male because you have overstepped your mark with me, I will do so and I will do it confidently. Um, I will do it unapologetically and I'm not going to conform to that societal expectation of, you know, uh, uh, don't be so aggressive. Well, why not? If somebody comes to my face and I want to face them, I will face them. If I want to walk away, I'll walk away. The Sexual Offenders Register has been launched. And who would have thought that? Who would have thought? And this has happened as a result of Nigerian women unmuffling themselves, removing the muffles, removing the shackles, um, getting their voice power back, getting their power back by getting their voice back and actually being comfortable with their voice. My name is Iriti Bakari Yusuf. Um, I'm a broadcaster. I'm also um, an activist. I'm a feminist, proudly so. I believe in so many, many, many positive things, but ultimately I think we can, if we work together, have a world in Nigeria without any form of gender-based violence. So, no more. It's time.